Today I'm tasting Blanton's Special Reserve. Uh, Blanton's, the original single barrel bourbon whiskey. Um, bought it in the bottle shop, this is uh, how it arrived, so uh, it comes in a box. Um, the finest bourbon in the world comes from a single barrel. It is never blended with whiskey from any other barrel. That is why, so that is the way Colonel Albert B. Blanton first bottled his private reserve bourbon nearly a century ago. And that is the way Blanton's is bottled today. It is a costly, painstaking way to produce bourbon, for a bourbon's peak maturity varies from barrel to barrel, and only a master distiller can determine the exact moment the whiskey has extracted enough flavour from the wood. Thus, he vigilant, vigilantly monitors each barrel until it is aged to perfection and is deemed worthy of the Blanton's or the Blanton label. That is why our bottle carries no age statement, just the hand marked information you see. And that is why Blanton's is to bourbon what the finest single malts are to scotch and rarest cognacs are to brandy. A sour mash whiskey of a body bouquet and character unequalled by any other. Blanton's is available in limited quantities at select stores. All right, so some big claims there. Special Reserve, Blanton's, Kentucky Single Barrel Bourbon Whiskey, 40% alcohol. Well, the birds have got something to say about it. Certainly an uh, interesting bottle that it's turned up in. Each bottle is recorded with the Master Registrar at Blanton Distilling Company. This registered bottle is number 162 and it looks like that's actually handwritten on so that's uh, an interesting little touch. Distilled and bottled by Blanton Distillery Company, Frankfurt, Kentucky. Alright, yep, some more information here. This bourbon whiskey dumped on 22nd of August 2017. The birds have decided to get a bit noisy. From barrel number 17, I think that's a 2-1. Stored in warehouse H on rack number 33. Individually selected, filtered and bottled by hand at 80 proof. So that's uh, quite a bit of detail about where it's come from. Um, I guess if you particularly like this bottle you're going to have uh, a bit of a hard time sourcing exactly the same bottle again. Uh, we believe this is the finest bottle of whiskey ever produced, affording you extra flavour, bouquet and character. Um, certainly an interesting bottle uh, and instructions here I think on how to open it. Pull. Alright, let's go. Alright, so it's got a wax seal, uh, one of the, um, uh, maybe, it's, maybe it's not really wax, it kind of feels more like plastic than wax, but one of the uh, reviews I did read about it uh, suggested at some point they had a problem with the um, wax seal. Going to be a bit cheeky here, let's see if it really is wax. See if it melts without burning myself. Yep, I would have called that wax, so yeah. Hmm. It's possible it's plastic, let's just have a 
Well, I don't know. I don't think wax uh, quite runs like that, so I... Yeah, doesn't actually seem to me... Oops, can't see me. <laughs> I don't think that's actually wax. Uh, it's a little bit too stringy for it to be wax. Um, some sort of plastic polymer I would really think it is. Anyway, that's just a meaningless bit of trivia. Let's get to the whiskey itself. Uh, cork. Um, a nice, uh, nice metal and heavy cork too. Again, fairly simple. It's bourbon, so I'm not expecting a huge amount on the nose there. Quite sweet. Honey, candy sort of. Mm. A little bit more there. That's um. Yeah, well, maybe actually probably more toffee than than honey. Mm. Doesn't help the fire's blowing a bit of smoke at me, but anyway. Mm. Oh yes. Mm. Yeah. Um, that, that uh, finish turns quite nice. Um, uh, candy apple toffee. Um, yeah, uh, I quite like that finish. It was, uh, the nose is, uh, the nose kind of hints to the finish. With that sort of uh, toffee kind of smell there. And then the mouth has got quite a nice spice to it, which then fades and uh, that toffee just, and, and that sweetness just comes back um, quite nicely on the finish. Mmm. Yeah, I like that. There's cinnamon in the mouth, I think. And sort of raisin. And then that fades away in the finish. And out comes back that toffee and um, sweet rye comes back. Yeah, I quite like that. So this would probably uh, be one of the um, one of the best bourbons I've had so far. So yeah, cheers. <laughs>